Okay, this is Mike with um, the next video in uh, this uh, series, cost of a loft conversion, and the regulations of, uh, do have um, a bearing on the cost of uh, your loft conversion, um, and oftentimes the costs get forgotten um, by people. Um, so, first of all. Um, you're going to have um, to have a set of drawings produced by either um, a loft conversion specialist or an architect. Um, two, you're going to need um, building regulation uh, submission. And three, um, you may need planning approval for your loft conversion. Um, and there are associated costs with this uh, planning application as well. Um, generally I put all these um, costs under the heading of professional fees. Uh, they're not directly um, associated to the construction of uh, a loft conversion uh, and as I say that's, that's why they generally get forgotten. Um, will be talking more about regulations and planning in uh, another video so I don't want to uh, take too much time now talking about them so we'll uh, stop this video at this juncture it was just um, a reminder to think about your professional fees and don't forget them okay that's Mike uh, from uh, UKLoftConversion.com I'll see you uh, in the next video bye for now